What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I'm going to talk about the recent secret code announced to exist on the Crucible map Last Exit. But before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy at the end, leaving a like is very much appreciated. Let's aim for 4,000 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. Okay, so last night during Bungie's stream, they mentioned that of a code hidden within the Crucible map Last Exit. Here, take a look. Where we will leave you. That's where we like you best. Have they broken video games? Have they broken the code in Last Exit yet? Uh, what? What? Nothing. No, I've said too much. Anyway, is this really a thing? What? Of course. There's a code in Last Exit. Sure. I have not been told about this. They don't tell me anything. Okay, so they mentioned that a code does exist within the Last Exit PvP map, and ask if anyone solved it yet. So, what do we know so far about this code? Well, it's really early days, and at the moment there are so many theories about what this code could be, where and when and how it takes place, and what it actually does unlock is absolutely crazy. I personally have explored the heck out of Last Exit, and have come across a few real strange things. For sure, many could be map mechanics, but knowing Bungie and the way they implemented secrets into the Rise of Iron, you just never know. Okay, so within the map Last Exit, the primary design is the fact it's basically an old train station as such. A station called Off-World Transit, something we've seen on other planets before, as Last Exit is based on Venus. Now, on the side of some of these carriages, we do see States M-Line, which obviously stands for Mars Line, and on some we see V-Line, which means Venus Line. But yeah, Off-World Transit, this all makes sense. Now, like I said earlier, this could be map mechanics, but approaching these carriages, we see lights come on where it states regional locations, as regio in Latin is the word for region. Now, this does happen when approaching both carriages, but yeah, for sure, it could be a map mechanic and not much else. Another real strange thing, but interesting, is the reflection shown in some of these carriages. Now, some show the correct reflections, but others show a completely different location. Some reflections show the M-Line station. So I did go and explore Mars, and where we find carriages within the off-world transit station, I didn't find anything of real interest. So back to last exit it was. Now back to these reflections in these carriages. Some of them show what looks to be a capture point near where A would be. So I tried loading into a private game of control within the last exit map, capturing all points and seeing if anything changed, and it didn't seem to be the case. Now this massive screen within the station does show a couple of images which do flicker, which you can actually make out. The first image is a little more scrambled, but it clearly shows Venus. The second image shows a cable cart, which could be an indication of a connection with the first mission within the Rise of Iron, the King of the Mountain mission, where you have to ride a cart to Falwinter. But something else of interest is on the map Frontier. We see the same Hammer logo, which is shown in the flickering screen on Last Exit, but we also see cable carts. But that for me is where the trail kind of ended. So again, back to Last Exit to find some more clues as to what this code could be. So a reflection on another train shows what looks to be a silhouette of five or six guardians placing something. Now where this is at the moment I have no idea, but this could be an indication of some sort. Another thing which could be of interest is the image Mantis tweeted out yesterday. It basically states how the stream was fun, but he also tweeted with it an image of something green. To me, it looks like a green screen used when editing, and it could be maybe just something to lead us on, who knows. But I went back to Last Exit to check all things green. The location indicated by green within the carriages is of the Reggio. Interesting on the small billboards, the of the Reggio billboard is flickering. If you watch it closely, it does flicker within a certain pattern, but it could be nothing at all. Of the when searched on Google does indicate that it is a place on Venus, as are all places the carriages state. It just opens up many more fears that one can come to. And yeah, now there are many more things to try and explore and figure out. 
If you have anything of interest, let me know. Another thing I will add though is Regio is the Italian word for royal. Today's mission is the Queen's Ransom. Is there a tie there? I have no idea. That mission though is on Venus. So exploring that daily mission is one thing I will do. As there could be something very well hidden within this daily mission. Which leads us to many different locations. Who knows. Now reading more theories on Reddit and such. People are trying all kinds of things to work this out. It's really exciting to see where this leads. And hopefully it is for another new exotic weapon. I am seeing many people saying this could indeed be the quest. For that new exotic we've seen so many images of. But have no idea of actually how it's earned. This weapon is called the Dubious Volley, a weapon a lot of people own two minds or whether or not it's actually in the game. Now its perks can be found within the Destin database and you can see them on screen now. So by the vast me included, this weapon is believed to be in the game, whether or not it's tied into this new hidden code which is found within the last exit PvP map is something we have no idea on at the moment. Now it is really early days, but over the next coming days I expect much more info to come out on this and if I find anything else new, you guys will find it here on my channel. So subscribe for Daily Destiny if you're new here, turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Always in the